Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. One of my favorite tools after Olama to run large language models locally is LM Studio. The reason being is that it is very easy to use so that instead of focusing on tinkering with the tool, you can focus on the LLM. Secondly, it is portable on various operating systems including Windows, Mac and almost all of the flavors of Linux. The only thing which I would say is a bit of a downside with LM Studio is that the update frequency is very low. But the thing is, whenever they make an update, it is very, very feature rich. I'm very excited to share that LM Studio has just released a new update of their software, which is quite welcoming in terms of retrieval augmented generation and few other tidbits. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can update it and then how you can use RAG with LM Studio. Since its inception, LM Studio has packaged together a few elements for making the most out of local LLMs when you run them on your computer. It provides you a desktop application that runs entirely offline and has no telemetry at all. It provides you a very familiar chat interface it provides you search and download functionality, a local server that can listen on OpenAI like endpoints, and a system for managing local models and configurations. Now with this new update, which I will be showing you shortly, you can do a lot of other things. Before I show you the update, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute, who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So do check them out. First up, let me launch my LM Studio. So this is the LM Studio, which you can see on my screen. In order to update it, all you need to do is to just click on this check for updates button on the top left. Click here. Okay, so it says that I am already on the latest version. So for sometimes what happens is that, and this is the issue which has been reported a lot, that it doesn't uh, update it from here. So in that case, you would need to go to this website of LM Studio and download the latest version from here. You see, you have for LM Studio, you have for Windows and you have for Linux. And you can see that the version is 0.3.1 whereas when I go to LM Studio here click on check update it's, it is still showing me the 0.2.24 and it is saying you are on the latest version so um, I think this is a bug which they need to fix but anyway so what I'm going to do I'm just going to download it from their website by simply clicking on the one which I want to download so let's click on this Linux one and you can see on the top right it is downloading the app image for it so let's wait for it to finish downloading and meanwhile it downloads you can simply close uh, older LM studio from your system and now the app image has been downloaded in my downloads directory presumably if I do ls here you will see I have this uh, app image let's do make it executable and then all I need to do is to run this command here and it is going to launch the installer. So let's wait for it to start up. And there you go. There we have our new LM Studio, which is a bit different in terms of the interface as you can see here. So if you look at the interface, it is slightly different from the older one as I said. On the top right, if you just click on this jar or show settings, you will be presented with the same system prompt which we see in the earlier ones, which you can check out for the general ones we have. Uh, we don't have the model at the moment, otherwise we will see here and a lot of other stuff. Now, in order to load the model, of course, you need to first download it. Uh, for that, there are a few things you can do. You can simply click on select a model or you can just go with uh, the usual 
Lama 3.18 billion one, which is very performant by the way. Or if you want to download any other model on the left hand side, just click on this discover or telescope icon and you will see that this is where you can search the model on the hugging face and then there is some help guide which is available on the right hand side it has given you some of the example LLM so for example if I just want to say go with Phi here it is going to show me the recent Phi 3.1 and then few others which you can download from uh, simply clicking on download button now if you click on this drop down on the right you will see that you can select different quantization levels from here and the higher the quantize uh, level the better the performance and accuracy will be so you can just select this one maybe i'll just go with q4 for the or maybe i'll go with q8 this time maybe i'll just select this and then download and now the download has started let's wait for it to get finished here and the model is downloaded and you can simply click on this load model here and it is going to load it on your local system another cool thing is that you can um, this automatically loads your model onto the gpu and cpu depending upon your machine's capability which i think is quite a good option and then as i mentioned earlier you can just go with some of the other stuff uh, on the right hand side where you can set hyperparameters, chat appearance and lot of other stuff you can also set your system prompt at the top okay and then there is also this cog item where you can set your gpu offload you see all the layers have been loaded um, to gpu hopefully yep and then you can set your context length or you could load all the parameters and then change them manually you can reload to apply the changes should not take too long and that is all done and then you can start chatting with it so i'm just asking it there you go so it looks much better so I, and i think it is just because earlier we had the option of um, using a markdown or simple raw format but i think it is just now putting everything in the uh, raw format or maybe markdown so i don't see any option here okay but anyway looks good to me and this is really good that it is given given um, us that how many tokens it is using like at the moment it is using 100 uh, more than 100 tokens per second and this many tokens uh, it used and this is the latency 0 0.06 seconds to first token this is very nice because this makes it so easy to uh, evaluate our application and now in order to do the retrieval augmented generation you see that there is a pin icon in the chat box just click on it and then you can select any file from here and then it is also telling you what to do like you can now chat with your document using rag and then you can upload five files at the time and the maximum combined size should be 30 mb that is slightly or the lower end but i'm sure it will improve and the formats are pdf docx txt and csv also it is asking you to be make sure your prompt is very specific and then what is happening what will happen behind the scene is that llm will look at your query and the reg excerpts from the document and attempt to generate a response experiment with different queries to find what works best okay and then I'll just click on don't show it click on upload file maybe I'll just go with my PDF dot PDF so this just contains my own information nothing else and then you can maybe let me ask it a question about myself who is Fahad Mirza and then click on send there you go it's absolutely awesome so you see it is telling us chosen context injected strategy uh, so because it's a small one so all the content can fit into the context which is good and then done predicting and this is it has just given me a very grounded response from my own data amazing stuff and this is my pdf which it has uploaded 
let me ask it what is the home address of Fahad Mirza it indicates that Fahad Mirza current based working with Sydney and then however the text does not specify his residential address so it is not hallucinating it is not giving me in fact uh, incorrect address which is really good but you see how easy it has become to do rag in LM studio and another cool thing is that you can arrange all of these chats in the folder which is always very very handy rest of the options if you click on developer the same one where you can just start serving by starting the server and then other people on the network can access through IP and port and the port is this one which you can of course customize and these are the settings which I already showed you you can access them in different ways there and then these are all of your models which are already present now <clears throat> one interesting thing I noted down is it says you have <coughs> sorry you have two models so it says that you have two models whereas I have only one model here I'm not sure where it is getting the second model so for example if I click on these three dots and then open in file explorer LM studio community I have just one model so anyway uh, maybe it is still uh, you know need some updates or something like that but all in all I think quite a welcoming change and update especially this rag option makes it so easy let me know what do you think about it I'm quite excited I think LM studio just uh, got an update we can run so many models which were not possible in the earlier days so very excited about it Please share your thoughts. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.